There's a great battle between good and evil raging in the universe right now. And through it all, God is showing you that there are two sides, the side of love and that of sin and darkness. And every day you get to choose what side you want to be on. In 1 Kings 18, God sent fire down from heaven in response to the prayer of Elijah the prophet. The false prophets were exposed as charlatans, and the God of heaven was revealed as the true God. This was as clear, as clear, as clear. One person who saw it up close, who witnessed this with his own eyes, was Israel's king, Ahab. He was the son of the odious Omri, the father of the ghastly Athaliah, and he was married to the toxic queen Jezebel. Ahab could only have been strongly impressed by what he saw on Mount Carmel that day, and he told his wife all about it. 1 Kings 19.1, And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, and withal how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Jezebel's reaction was hideous. She threatened to have Elijah killed. Never mind that fire had come down from heaven. Never mind that the prophets of Baal were revealed as frauds or that God was clearly with Elijah. Jezebel's heart was as cold as a winter's frost. The battle between good and evil was playing out in Ahab's experience. What God had done on Mount Carmel, he'd done for Ahab as much as he'd done for Elijah, maybe more so, because the prophet was already convinced of God's goodness. But Ahab was swayed. So what's swaying you, or is it a who? Don't let anything or anyone sway you away from God today. We're caught in a real spiritual battle. Be sure that you've chosen to stand on God's side. I'm John Bradshaw for It Is Written. Let's live today by every word.